In her first video, after signing with a major label, Shensia partakes in an infernal ritual that ends with a sacrifice. Indeed, the video, Run Run, appears to confirm a rumor that has been circulating in Shensia's native Jamaica for a while. She sold her soul to the occult elite. When I talk about a new artist that's suddenly popular, I usually briefly describe the path that led them to mainstream media. And, from one artist to another, that path is strikingly similar. First, the artist is unsigned, but has a sizable following, and is generating quite a buzz. Then, the artist gets signed to a major label, often Interscope Records, and everything changes. The artist suddenly starts making the one-eye sign in photo shoots, and releases a ritualistic video filled with occult symbolism. Shensia, a popular artist from Jamaica who is crossing over to the mainstream, followed this exact path. After releasing remixes and collaborating with popular artists, including Sean Paul and Christina Aguilera, Shensia's notoriety grew in Jamaica and across the world. In 2019, Shensia signed with Interscope Records. Shortly after, things got very occult elite. Take a look, Shensia's profile pic on Instagram is now one eye sign. And in the recent photo shoot, Shensia makes an unmistakable one eye sign. A few months after signing with Interscope, Shensia's mother died unexpectedly, an event that was widely mediatized in Jamaica. While several artists showed her support, intense rumors circulated that Shensia sacrificed her mother for fame. This is a headline from Buzz Caribbean about Shensia having to address the persistent rumors regarding blood sacrifice. While these kinds of accusations are difficult to prove, Shensia's first video run run only added water to the mill. Why? Well, for starters, it depicts a ritual sacrifice to Satan himself. This is a headline from Yard Hype about artist Fuda Hype claiming that Run Run is demonic. This is a headline from Dancehill Mag about the backlash against the Run Run video. And this is a headline from Buzz Caribbean about producer Rubsayan defending Shensia from accusations claiming that she sold her soul. As you can see, Shensia has become a controversial figure in the dancehall community, as some believe that she was chosen to infect it with the occult elite's sickness. With that being said, is Run Run truly demonic? Let's take a look. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Run Run was directed by one of the elite's favorite directors, Christian Breslauer. His most recent videos are, Lil Nas X Industry Baby, and BB Rex's Sacrifice, which is about a guy being tortured and sacrificed, while Rexa drinks blood. In Run Run, Breslauer took a big innovative step by making the video about a guy being tortured and sacrificed. There's also lots of imagery that's reminiscent of Lil Nas X Montero, where he literally descends into hell. In short, Run Run is not about art, it is about forcing the same exact imagery down the throats of people. Shensia was simply chosen to bring the things to Jamaica. Like countless other songs released by pop stars in the past years, the lyrics of Run Run are about a guy who did something bad. And that justifies the vicious scenes of revenge we witness throughout the video. While the lyrics of the song are about Shensia running from a guy because he's bad, the video depicts a reverse situation. The guy is running away from Shensia because she's gone mad. The video begins with a guy running from Shensia while holding a heart. Shensia is in the truck, chasing the guy while holding a sacrificial knife. She really likes that knife. Whose heart is the guy holding? Shensia's? Because she seems very alive. Did she turn into some sort of demon-controlled zombie? No matter what the case may be, this combination of a human heart with a ceremonial knife is strongly reminiscent of ancient human sacrifices, such as those performed by the Aztec. 
the Tecpatl or sacrificial knife, was an important element in Aztec rituals. The Tecpatl was used by Aztec priests to open the chest of the victims of human sacrifice, to extract the heart that would feed the gods, and the hope that the offerings would bring blessings to mankind. The most widespread sacrificial procedure among Aztecs was removal of the heart. Then, Shensia catches the guy who kneels down and hands her the heart. His troubles are just starting. Shensia dances around while the guy is caged like an animal. Don't be fooled. This is not about feminism. This is not about empowerment. This is about the exact opposite. This is about enslavement and blood sacrifices to dark forces. In the next scene, Shensia is in a lush setting that is reminiscent of the Garden of Eden. The snapshot shows Shensia bathes in water, baptism or ritual purification, and wears a crystal crown, representing the virginal candidate before an initiation ritual. Shensia is being prepped before for an infernal ritual. The snapshot shows Shensia does the one-eye sign, so you understand that what is about to happen was sponsored by the occult elite. Meanwhile, the guy is also being prepped for a ritual. Dressed in black, Shensia's followers tie up a guy, the same way elite psychopaths tie up MK slaves. Then, the gates of hell open. Literally. Shensia wears devil horns, she descends to hell with her sacrificial lamb, damning his soul. Once we witness this infernal scene, we realize that Shensia is actually the bad guy in the video. She's, like, the devil. We also realize that she's the bad guy in the lyrics of her song. And that bad guy might be Satan himself. The first verse of the song says. I never want to see your face again. Don't want to get caught in a ya spell. How me make you put me through living hell. Time and time again. Hatching people in a spell and putting through living hell is something that Satan would do. Shensia does these things in the video. In the chorus, Shensia also describes things that the devil would do. Boy you make me feel a way, my body controlling me. You give me that fire, now it burn, burn, baby. Look at what you do to me, take over my energy. Should have known you never could fire me. And now you make me happy. The hook talks about controlling the body, burning fire, taking over energy, all things that a supernatural power such as Satan would do. After dwelling in the Garden of Eden, Shensia holds a snake. That's very symbolic. In the story of Genesis, the snake who tempts Eve is actually Lucifer. This scene represents Shensia siding with Satan versus God. Also, the clear-colored crystal she was wearing in the water, representing purity, are now black, representing initiation to the dark side. After her transformation, Shensia sits on a throne, representing the earthly powers granted to those who sell their souls. Next to her is the heart, which appears to be blackened, surrounded by snakes. This scene represents the sacrifice of a human life or soul to Satan, represented by the snakes. The video ends with a guy approaching the throne, kneeling down, and offers Shensia a sacrificial knife. He's owned by Satan. The video leaves some details unanswered, such as, whose heart is it? Who exactly is this guy? Is he actually Shensia's alter ego? Why is he handing her a knife? Does he want her to finish him off? In the end, these details are not that important, as long as one understands the core message of the video. The occult elite now owns Shensia, and she is now being used to push satanic symbolism to her target market. In her first video after signing with a major label, Shensia going through a ritualistic transformation we've seen countless times before. Not unlike her predecessors such as Rihanna and C, Shensia follows the good girl gone bad narrative, where she symbolically gives her soul to the devil in a music video. There is absolutely nothing artistic or creative about these videos. Only a few weeks, Lil Nas X released a video, where he descends to hell with horns on his head. The repetitiveness is done on purpose. This is not about artistic expression, this is about indoctrination. This is about flooding the airwaves with the same infernal imagery to push a single narrative. The same way Shensia turned to the dark side, the occult elite wants the entire world to go through the same ritual, without even realizing it. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss.
As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.